I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing. Hi guys, we are on warm24.com and today we are going to assemble the Oppo Reno 4 Lite. At the very beginning, we need to remove the car tray. For this, we take a special tool and remove the tray for two SIM cards and a memory card. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we put our device on a heating mat. You can use a hair dryer. And as we can see, the temperature we have is rising to the temperature we need. And after five or seven minutes, we can move on to unglue the back cover. Okay, to detach the back cover, we will use a thin plastic film. This is part of the protective film from the new display. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it along. As the back cover is detached separately from the camera's cover, the back cover will be glued around the camera's cover. So we have to be careful. And we have detached the back cover, as we can see on the cover only the gasket. Then we need to unscrew the screws. We are going to be removing all the screws at the top and bottom. As we can see the screws are silver colored and look the same. Carefully unscrew. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. The screws can be hard to remove, so we can additionally use tweezers to take them out. And we move on to detach the middle cover. We use a plastic film. We run the film into the gap near the hole for the car tray and gently run along detaching the clips. As always, we need to be careful in the area of the side buttons as not to damage them and in the area of the cameras. And we detach the middle cover. On the cover we have the contact pads for antennas. Then we need to disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. And after that we can remove the cover with a speaker. Carefully hook over the edge and take it out. As we can see in the cover besides the speaker there is a vibration motor. Then we disconnect the connectors and remove the interboard cable. By the way, the direction to the motherboard is indicated by an arrow on the cable. And now we can disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector, the coaxial cable connector, the interboard cable connector and the display connector. Then we pry up the edge and pull the subboard off. The subboard is slightly glued in the place. On the subboard we have the headphone jack port, microphone, charging port. In the frame of the display remains the fingerprint sensor and the contact area for the speaker and vibration motor. Let's move on to disconnecting the interboard cable connector on the motherboard. We can disconnect the two front facing cameras after that. The cameras are connected by a heat sink film, so we have to be careful. Then we can disconnect the coaxial cable connector and release the cable from the fixations on the motherboard. After that, we can unscrew the two screws using a Philips H3O screwdriver that holds the rear cameras. And we can remove one screw that holds the motherboard. Please note, these screws are different. 
and we can remove the circuit board. We find a convenient place, pry up by the edge and pull out the motherboard. Then we remove the bracket with a one rear camera. After that, we detach the larger rear camera. And we can remove the remaining two cameras. There is thermal test on the back side of the motherboard. And we move on to detaching the battery. We only have one green tab. We need to unwrap it and pull it upwards. Under the battery we have a transparent coating that protects the interboard cable and holds the battery by one edge. Ok guys, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next time.